Well, hey there. I wasn't going to come out tonight because last night took me about eight hours to uh, film, review, edit, and all that kind of stuff, upload. So I didn't get much uh, sleep and I'm just really tired. <laughs> but as I'm upgrading my computer, oh God, I figure I might as well come outside. It'll take another half hour or so. So anyway, here we are on August 14th, 2018. It's 9.04 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. And we have the 18% crescent, 17.5, whatever, up above uh, Venus there. And right now I'm on the cannon. I haven't fired up the Nikon. It just makes for too much footage when a gal like me is tired. Oh, that's a nice shot there. But we'll let them come down for a while and maybe uh, do a fast forward here. If I don't get my usual impatience and, <laughs> and get to another target. It seems like when it gets to a certain point, it uh, kind of just stalls out. Now see, doesn't it appear to be going faster? <laughs> oh my, there she goes. Okay, so there's our digital zoom on the Canon of 10X. A lot of atmosphere, but also, like I said before, it doesn't get as uh, good of moon shots like the Nikon P900 does. And yeah, I'm excited about the P1000. Still have about three weeks to go. It gets uh, released September 6th, which is on a Thursday. So I don't know what day they'll ship them out and how long it'll take to get here, but <laughs> that's a nice looking crescent there. All right, that's good enough. And before Venus sets, actually, let me move us a bit. Boy, that's a pretty sight, seeing both of them lined up like that. Alrighty, there we go. So yeah, before Venus uh, gets too low for me or gets stuck in the trees, <laughs> we'll get her now. Whoa, look how yellow it looks. Orange. But it is low on the horizon, so. Now tonight I did take the 2x teleconverter off, so. That's as far as we can zoom in. I'll do a crop zoom in the uh, video. So we have two crescents tonight. <laughs> a planet and a moon. And that's good. We'll head over to Jupiter probably next. Alrighty, a shot of the stars of Libra. And we'll head up to Jupiter. Now there is a, uh, one of the moons of Jupiter, Ganymede, is crossing the face, Earth facing over top of Jupiter, so it'll be cool if we can catch it once we change over to uh, change the ISO and to get Jupiter in better. And it's too small for me to see on the monitor. Of course now I wish I had the teleconverter on, but <laughs> oh well. Alright, so our tilted friend there, our banded friend, is done and we're going to 
Head over to Saturn real quick. There we go. I do believe that Titan is about the 10 o'clock position. But it's so hard to see on here. And there we go. We'll let her rise up a bit. Oops, there we go, calling Saturn a she again. Yeah, I say it so often, but Saturn is one of my favorite planets. It's so cool to see with those bands around it. Sorry, I meant with the uh, rings around it. As many of you have noticed uh, over the last few videos, I've been trying something different by putting the uh, pictures of the background of the sky and then overlaying the zoomed in version on top of it I'm trying to replicate what I see by eye you know because I can see the buildings the trees and and the clouds and stuff like that and it's cool to see what's going on around it you know at the time and actually where it's located but I can't have issues with the crashing a planet into a tree <laughs> and I know it does look trippy though because it looks like that huge uh, behemoth is right here in your backyard. But it's just an experiment. I kind of like it, but then, like Jason said, it is trippy. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a fast forward on this of uh, Saturn. <laughs> Zipping around in the sky. There she goes. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. Hopefully the computer's done and I'll get some pictures here. All right, y'all take care now. Good night.